at this point we can go ahead and hide the wheel or you can create a layer up to you i'm just going to hide it right now and what we're going to do we're going to create a series of objects that will eventually hold down the spring so we're going to start creating a cylinder poly cylinder that is and the first thing i want to do is kind of mash it with my reference i'm going to go in my front view show image plane and we're going to use this as a reference for our springs so we just want to make sure that we have a good sense of the actual size i gotta make sure that it looks good in all angles not that good let's fix it all right so that's a bit better i'm gonna translate back to the zero origin point let me bring up my grid the rotation set it back to zero and now i can use it as a reference this is the right size that i'm looking for i'm going to increase that radius on the inputs now i will duplicate this object Control d now create a shorter version of it Probably I'll scale it up just like so. I will grab this edge. Grab the whole entire loop and I will bevel it. To do so, I will go into Edit Mesh Bevel. And I can come here and play with the offset. I'm just going to make it smaller by 0.1. I'll place it about there. I will bring now another cylinder. I'm going into the inputs, I'll change the radius for 0.2, the height maybe 0.1 subdivision axis I'm going to change that to 12 and subdivision caps I'm going to change that to 3 I will make this bigger by scaling it up something like that I'll grab now the top edge and bevel it as well. I would change the fraction to 0.3. Once I'm happy with that, I'll grab the object and duplicate it and move it down. Make that bigger by scaling it up. And I'll bevel the bottom part as well. Remember to press G in your keyboard to repeat the last command. Change the fraction and you're good to go. Create one more cylinder. Rotate it 90 degrees on Z. Go into the inputs. Change the radius to 0.2. Change the height to 0.1. Subdivisions, axis, change it to 12. And subdivision caps, change it to 3. I will scale this up so it is of good size and move it up a bit. Somewhere there. Not all objects need to be smooth, especially when there's smaller objects. In this particular case, I would not smooth any of these area, but I will have to smooth the top detail. So if I press number three, this is what I currently have. And I wanna make sure that those edges look just a bit sharper. Remember to do that by using your edge loop tool.
Once done, I'll press number one and select the interfaces. Always make sure that you don't have additional faces on the back selected by mistake. Press five to go back to your shaded view. Scale up those faces and we'll now extrude twice. Control E, change the orientation, move inwards, extrude one more time, change the orientation and move inwards. Selecting this outer loop, we're also going to extrude twice. One time, and then again. While looking in object mode, we can smooth that piece and get something that kind of looks like this. I will also select the faces towards the bottom. and extrude those downwards. Actually, I'm going to go halfway point and then extrude one more time. That way, I already will have an additional division there. All right, that worked out. I will now scale this object. Once I'm happy with that, I will now duplicate my object rotate it 180 degrees on Y and bring it down. You can adjust it as needed. At this point, we're going to add the spring, go into Create Polygon Primitives, and select helix. If you go into the inputs, you can add the amount of coils, the height, and width. You can also play with the radius. I think I'm going to stick with something like this. Yours could be a little different. You don't necessarily need to follow my values here. I'll make this area just bigger and repeat down here. So after playing with it for a while, I think I'm going to stick with this. Again, make any adjustments that you might see fit for yours as well. Go to the outliner here, look for the screw, and once click, click Control D to duplicate. You'll notice that a new object will be created. To take it away from the group, click Shift. Rotate the screw and put it in place. There should be one at the top and one towards the bottom. Again, adjust accordingly. Select all the pieces and group them together. We can label this group spring. <laughs> 